This channel will help you to improve your overall badminton games by analyzing some selective videos from the top international players. This channel is mainly for the intermediate and advanced level players who already have basic knowledge about the game and want to go to the next level. We mainly focus on correcting some small mistakes done by most of the intermediate players unknowingly, and we are pretty sure making this small correction while playing your badminton stroke may make you play like a stylish badminton player and also this will significantly increase the power of your badminton strokes. Please don't forget to like and subscribe our channel to get more interesting videos like this. In this video, we will mainly talk about how to make a powerful smash in badminton. And finally, we will talk about how a small correction in your smash can enhance your power naturally and drastically. So we advise you to watch this video till the end. First, let us understand from where does the power in badminton comes from. Please work on all the below points and tips to enhance your power. Point number one, core. You need to strengthen your core to make a powerful smash. Some of the important strengthening exercises which we would recommend are plank, crunches, and push-ups. Point number two, strengthening your arms. For that, you can do any kind of forearm strengthening exercises using videos available on YouTube using TheraBand and Dumble. Point number three, strengthening your legs and being fast in the court. The secret behind a powerful smash is that you always need to be behind the shuttle, or the shuttle should always be in front of you. So, if your movement is slow, then no matter how powerful you are, you will never be able to smash with power because you're not at the right position to hit the shuttle. For strengthening your legs, you can do running, footwork practice, squats, and any other leg and hamstring strengthening exercises. Point number four, right posture. We don't want to make this video lengthy by talking about the right posture for Smash. There are many videos by famous coaches on YouTube, but we highly recommend the YouTube tutorial made by the international badminton champion, Victor Axelson. His video was slightly different from the other tutorial you might have watched in YouTube. But we believe that this is the right technique for a powerful smash using the forearm and core. Please follow the link in the description to watch that video. But in addition to that, we want to give a very simple tip which is very effective and most of the professional players follow it knowingly or unknowingly. So what is that special technique that we are going to explain now? Or what is the main purpose of making this video? Let's look at this beautiful jump smash video carefully by another badminton legend from China, Chen Long. And if you look at his wrist action very carefully from beginning to the end, you will understand that his wrist is locked from start till the end of the smash. That means there is no wrist movement in smash. But if you have still not understood that what we actually meant by this, then don't worry. Let us see these two clips. First one is showing the wrong wrist action, and the second one is showing the correct technique. What is the reason to make this video on this and ask you to lock your wrist? Well, the science behind this is, number one, natural forearm pronation and elbow movement. You might have seen many videos by coaches to do forearm pronation and raise your elbow while hitting powerful smashes. Nothing wrong with those videos, but the actual science behind this technique is actually your wrist posture. If you lock your wrist with proper forehand grip while preparing for a smash, all these things will happen naturally because otherwise you will not be able to hit the shuttle. 2. Sweet spot. Since you have to pronate your forearm more with this technique, you will get the sweet spot every time you hit the shuttle. And last but not the least, you can actually apply this wrist lock technique for 99% of your forearm and backhand strokes. So lock your wrist and enjoy the game like a pro. Watch this technique again and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.